As part of our research studies and our item development process, CASAS embeds fill test items in e-tests. Unfortunately, we cannot analyze this item fill test data if you do not also collect these demographic data elements for the test takers. Here is a brief tutorial on how to enter this demographic information. Here I am getting ready to log into the Rolling Hills simulation server. This is where we're going to take a look now. You can run any kind of scenarios you like here and, and test things out. That's what I like to do. So I'm going to log in as a coordinator. It brings me initially to this list of testing sessions. And the place where we want to make the change is actually on the testing session templates. So we'll click here, testing session templates. And um, you can see the number of sessions using it. In this case, we're on this server. So there's a whole lot of sessions. You'll have fewer than this. Um, we're going to edit this ABE slash ASE template. So click the edit button. And then the data fields Linda was talking about are here on the data tab. So you click data. And in this session, we have only student info and zip code selected. Um, perhaps I'll decide that I don't want to collect zip code anymore. So I can re remove this from selected and put it over to available. Use that right arrow. Student info, you can't remove. That's the name and ID. You need to have that for sure. Um, but the, the key fields that we're talking about that would, would be added then are over here, gender. So um, you can add this by clicking the left arrow, adds it over. Um, scroll down a little bit, native language is another of the fields. A shortcut here is to double click. So that just sends it right over. I don't need to use the arrows. And then ethnicity is the other one. And I double click that. And just FYI, ethnicity in includes two questions, ethnicity and race. So they're both grouped together. Um, I can also reorder these if I like. If I decide that I want to ask ethnicity first, I might push that up to the top right after the student name and ID. OK, those are the changes that we're happy with. We'll click Save. And now every session that has this template name, in this case, ABE slash ASE, if we go over to Testing Sessions, all of these guys have been changed. So here it's 490 sessions. They're all collecting that data now. And what you would do is change your first one and then go right on down the list. And here I would change CIT and CTE and any other templates that I have. Um, that is pretty much it. And if you need any assistance, please call us or email tech support. Thanks very much.